Hello and welcome to episode 77 of Miscellaneous Trees Ford Falcon 351 project. Now, for those of you that have been paying attention, whenever I get out of my car, I have to unplug the fan relay to get the thermal fans to shut off. Now, when I was talking to Al last weekend, he told me my fan relay switch was turning on far too soon and they're not turning off. So I went out and bought the new Davies Craig fan relay switch, thinking to myself this would be a nice easy fix. But it's not, because as it turns out, these AU Falcon thermal fans pulling a lot more current than the single 30 amp 5 pin relay can handle and it's causing the relay to stick on after the uh, thermal fans have been tripped. So today's task is going to be to rewire these thermal fans with my own logical wiring. I mean, obviously these are, some of this is pretty shonky as it is thanks to me, but I've been galvanized with purpose to get this right and wire this fan system up so the relays go through the accessory switch for the ignition so when I need to start the car I don't have the fans going and pulling 80 or pulling 40 amps out of the battery while I'm trying to crank it so that'd be a good start what else did I want to address I'm either going to use two 30 amp relays or one 40 amp relay. I'm not too sure which way I'm going to go yet. I might just set it up with a 40 amp relay and then see how I go once I cycle it up to temperature. But the goal here is to not have to open the bonnet and disconnect the relay to get the fans to turn off. It wasn't really a problem driving around like this in the summertime because it was so hot the thermal fans were on a lot anyway. But now I'm driving around in the winter time, I'm actually finding the car's not getting anywhere near warm enough to be at optimal operating temperature. So while I'm in the process of getting carbies and timing and all that stuff sorted out, I need the car to run at operating temperature. And I have replaced all the uh, connectors and cables and bits of plug connected all this together I have soldered some fresh wires and heat shrunk them all together onto the existing AU Falcon fan wiring loom We're running two separate cables all the way down here to two separate relays now I've already run the car up to temperature and this relay here is still welding itself closed so this solution is a bit of a non-starter so I'm going to add these four pin relays. Now this is a 40, and that's the only one I could find. And this one here is a 30, which is also four pin. So that's effectively, that'll carry 70 amps worth of load between them, which should be more than enough for these two fans here. I would have thought that two 30s would have been enough, but those both of those 30s there have two outputs so that's effectively 15 per output which is probably why I'm still coming unstuck with that uh, relay welding itself together so I'm going to upgrade all of that to these ones and once I've bench tested all of this I will tidy it all up I'm going to have to do something about this driving light relay system too that I bodged together all those months ago when the car was just sitting in the shed waiting for me to do stuff to it. Mental note, don't try to run the signal for the relays in series because it just doesn't work. It means you get one relay working or no relays working. So I relayed the signal from the thermal switch in parallel through both relays evenly and everything works! Dog's breakfast down here. I have the signal running from the thermo switch to each relay, and then each relay is earthed, and each relay 
runs a separate fan. Both fans are earthed at that end. Demonstration time. This is my trigger wire. I'm just going to touch it against the positive of the battery terminal. Now there's sufficient heat and radiator to get this to still trigger the fans if I turn the thermostat down. I'll turn the thermostat down. And turn the thermostat back up. And the fans turn off. Alright, now that I've tidied up all the wiring, it's time to heat cycle the car and retest the thermostat once and for all. And on! 90 degrees! And is off. So there you have it. Radiator thermo control module repaired. Now the fans turn on. The temperature is nice and high. And they turn off just as quickly as they start. I've got the trigger for the thermo fan regulator on my accessory circuit, so it'll run when the engine is off, and it will stop when the engine is being cranked over through the inhibitor circuit while I'm trying to start the car. So, good result. All I need to do now is sort the cover out. And I'm still waiting on a carburetor, so I thought, hey, my carburetor's here. That'd be good news. But I opened the box and... Oh! <sighs>